News is continuing to follow the latest developments in a controversial pardon involving a murder case that stretches back more than eight years. In the end, it means Margaret Blair Dacey could soon be free. 8 News reporter Olivia Jaquitz spoke with Senator Joe Morrissey, who's been helping with her pardon request. Olivia, take us back to her original sentence and how this compares. Well, Eric, Deanna, Dacey was just one of four people charged in connection with the 2013 death of Rusty Mack, but she was the only one who went to prison, the judge ultimately sentencing her to 20 years behind bars. Now, the state confirming to 8 News that Governor Northam has decided to grant Dacey a conditional pardon. Rusty Mack was just 21 years old when he was killed outside his Colonial Heights apartment in February of 2013. My heart goes out to them because they lost a child. That is unfathomable. For the last seven years, Senator Joe Morrissey's office has been helping Margaret Blair Dacey free of charge. She was the only defendant to go to prison for Mack's death. She had the courage to reject a lenient plea bargain because she wasn't guilty. She received a sentence that was so far above what was a fair sentence that it would simply shock the conscience. Dacey, a teenager at the time, was ultimately convicted of second degree murder plus assault and battery. Now she's looking to be set free. It's not a statement that you didn't do it. It's just a statement that we're going to shorten your sentence. And a condition of that shortening of your sentence is that you're going to spend some time on probation and being supervised to make sure that you don't go out and do something else. 8 News political analyst Russ Stone says only the governor has the power to grant a conditional pardon, and not even an incoming governor can reverse it. I believe in, in second chances, and so there are still some pardons that we're looking at, and we haven't taken action on them yet, but we will between now and, and January the 15th. Now, despite the governor saying that this is not a done deal yet, the Secretary of the Commonwealth has confirmed to 8 News that he has already decided to grant this conditional pardon, he being again Governor Northam. As for when Dacey could be released from incarceration, Senator Morrissey tells me he's hoping it'll be before Christmas. What does late uh, Rusty Mack's family have to say about this development? I mean, I know that you spoke with his father. What did he have to say? Yeah, that's right, Eric. I spoke with his father over the phone earlier today. He didn't want to speak on camera because, quite frankly, he says he just feels defeated by this decision and that it's especially hard to be getting this news around the holidays, which he says are already difficult, you know, mourning the loss of his son. Very understandable. Olivia Jake with reporting live for us tonight. Thank you very much. Now to the